the next generation is right around the corner, and as those PS5s gently cool on the windowsill, we thought it would be appropriate to look back at some classic sports games that we think need a next-gen reboot. This list does not include Tony Hawk, Skate, or any NCAA games, because we already sort of know to various degrees that those games are definitely coming eventually. It also doesn't include NFL 2K, because amazing as that would be, it's completely unrealistic since EA Sports and the NFL have an exclusive agreement that runs until the year 2437. I guess this list should be entitled the top five reboots that we need that could semi-realistically happen but have not yet been announced. But since that doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, we're Operation Sports, I'm Matt Ederer, and these are the top five sports games that need a next-gen reboot. Number five, WWE Smackdown vs. Raw. This is uh, really a marketing idea, more of a rebrand than a reboot, but let's face it, there is not enough Listerine on planet Earth to wash away the taste that WWE 2K20 left in some fans' mouths. 2K20 was widely panned, laughed at, made fun of, and known as one of the worst wrestling games of all time. So hey, maybe it's time for 2K to just scrap the WWE 2K series and reboot the whole thing under the SmackDown vs. Raw name. Just to win back some goodwill with the fan base, if nothing else. Kind of like a new Coke versus Coca Cola classic situation. One thing we can all agree on, and that WWE 2K developers have already hinted at, is that GM Mode needs to make a comeback. A staple of the Raw vs. SmackDown era of games, GM Mode was so popular that there are still numerous YouTube channels running GM Modes, including from current WWE wrestler Xavier Woods. I'm certainly not the first person on the internet to make this point, but GM mode would pair very well with the current WWE Universe mode, which is essentially just GM mode with more cutscenes, but no overarching rule systems, no contract system, no goals, no incentive to keep playing outside of the user's own imagination, and no real point to it at all. Number 4. 3 on 3 NHL Arcade Colloquially known as Big Head Hockey, NHL 3 on 3 Arcade is, in my opinion, one of the most overlooked sports games ever made. It's a big statement, I know, but this game is awesome. It's fast, it's exciting, and I'll put this word in quotation marks, but it's funny, quote unquote, in the sense that it has wacky sound effects, fun power ups, and a sarcastic announcer chirping at you as you get body checked out of the ring. You may not define it funny, but at least it's trying something. It also features great intuitive gameplay and a roster full of all the best players that 2009 has to offer. This game does run into a similar problem as number three on this list, being that it kind of is included in NHL 20. The World of Chell does feature some the World of Chell, by the way, what a terrible name. But it does feature some three-on-three -three puck in a looser arcade-style game. But the World of Chell does not have the power-ups, they do not have the intuitive NHL 09-based engine, and they somehow have an even more annoying announcer than this game. Number 3. NBA Street. Much in the way that 3 on 3 NHL Arcade is kind of sort of in NHL 20 already, NBA Street is kind of sort of in NBA 2K already. You've got both the neighborhood and the blacktop where you can play street style games versus the computer or your friends on or offline. We aren't terribly lacking for street based basketball hijinks these days. NBA 2K's blacktop and neighborhood modes are doing very well for themselves, don't get me wrong. But when compared to NBA Street 2, current 2K Street modes lack the high-flying dunks, the genius dunk modifier system, and this is an opinion thing, but they lack a story mode that makes any sense or is rewarding at all, at all, ever, at all, ever, ever, at all. <laughs> and most importantly, they don't have the heart and soul that NBA Street did. Aw. Number 2. Fight Night. Shout out to Operation Sports' own Brian Mazik for the video. Uh, please be sure to check out this father versus son battle of the generations if you uh, haven't seen it yet. To me, Fight Night is to boxing games as Kleenex is to tissue. No matter how many other options come and go, when I hear the words Fight Night, I think of the best series of boxing video games ever created. 
Fight Night revolutionized virtual fighting with their controls, realism, and deep roster of current and legendary boxers. It's a perfect game to throw on with a few friends and pass the controller around, and it's also rewarding to sit down and play through as a single player. And yes, the sport of boxing is never going to be what it was in the 60s and 70s, but huge heavyweight fights are still undeniably some of the biggest and most relevant sporting events on the planet. With Fight Night Champion being almost 10 years old at this point, I think we can all agree that it's time. Number 1. Def Jam Def Jam Vendetta and Def Jam Fight for New York, but certainly not Def Jam Icon, were some of the best fighting games ever made. If you've ever played Def Jam, picture a crazy violent wrestling game only with rappers instead of wrestlers, and in places like the subway station and Snoop Dogg's Tower instead of a wrestling ring. Just by the nature of this idea, this game was going to be amazing. But somehow, Def Jam games also had the best controls of any wrestling adjacent game on the market at the time. The first game, Def Jam Vendetta, almost exactly mirrored the old Akai Nintendo 64 wrestling game control scheme. That control system was slightly altered for Fight for New York, which is more of a general fighting game than Vendetta, a pretty much straight up wrestling game. But the controls on both games are easy to learn, fun to master, and still very much hold up to this day. Of all the games on this list, this one is begging for a reboot the loudest. Just by adding modern graphics, a robust creation suite, and online fighter sharing, you would get my favorite video game of all time. Imagine the possibilities. A roster full of SoundCloud rappers throwing each other off buildings, for example. But you wouldn't even have to restrict it to rappers. Country fans picture Hank Williams vs. Garth Brooks. Rock fans, what about a Creed vs. Nickelback pit fight? How about Bob Dylan vs. Morrissey in an I can't understand you on a pole match? This is getting abstract, but the combinations are really endless. Michael Jackson vs. Prince. Alanis vs. Shania Twain for the Canadian women's title. That's just musicians. I could go all day, but let's let's call it here. That's going to do it for us today at Operation Sports. My name is Matthew Edder. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications, do all the things that all the other better YouTube videos are telling you to do. Um, and the absolute least that we can do with our platform in this moment in time is to say that Black Lives Matter. We're going to include a few links in this in the description of this video about how to help out with or without money and just how to generally stay educated and informed about the world unfolding around us. Uh, that's all we can really do. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you for watching. Hooray for video games, and stay safe, everybody.